I've got a really quick video for you guys today, but it's going to be a pretty helpful one for all of you guys who want to know how to cook your duck and goose meat better. I kind of slacked on the cooking videos this past season, I want to apologize, but I do have some meat stockpiled in the freezer to do some cooking videos here in the off season. So. What I want to do today is show you guys a neat little trick that will help improve how your meat comes out at the final product. So this is something I generally like to do with my geese, but you can do it with ducks and geese. Geese just need it a heck of a lot more. And we'll dive on in here and show you guys what I'm talking about. First things first, you want a good sharp knife. It makes a big difference. Now, I have been brining these goose breasts for about 15 hours or so, so a little salt water mix, let it sit in there, and I rinsed it out once and refilled it this morning, but you can see how the blood just kind of comes out of the meat, and that, that helps out with the final product as well. Helps make it a little less gamey. So here we have a goose breast. And something that I like to do whenever I clean them, I always skin them out. I don't bother with feathering them and leaving the skin on. Because most of the time when I use my goose meat, I generally turn it into summer sausage or jerky sticks and there's just no need to go through the trouble with feathering it. But let's say, like tonight, I'm gonna make some fajitas with this stuff. What I like to do to just make it taste better and have it be a little more tender is first of all, I like to trim off all of the fat because that's where a lot of the gaminess comes from in the geese. So all these little white spots, that's your fat. Just go ahead and give that a nice little trim and uh, it should come off pretty easily. Now a lot of people will say, no, nah, leave the fat on. It's just a personal preference. I prefer to just take the fat off because some fat's good, some fat's not so good. Uh, you don't have to be super particular with it. Just try and get all that white fat off. Um, don't forget about all the stuff on the backside. If you trim a little bit of meat off, it is what it is, you know. So just trimming some of that white stuff off. Okay, so trimming the fat off, pretty quick and easy. But here's another step that you can take to really improve the eating experience. This right here is silver skin or a tendon, whatever you want to call it. It's chewy, it's tough, and it just does not taste good and make for a pleasant time. And so what I like to do is trim this out, so you can trim it out pretty quick and easy. Just take your knife, cut right below it, and like I said, if you trim out a little bit of meat, it's not the end of the world. Uh, okay, and you just get right up under there, and you gotta kinda cut it down. Just follow the white, and uh, just get all that out doesn't take a whole lot of time and it makes a big difference in your final product. So, boom, just like that, that big tendon is out of there and that's gonna make it a lot easier to eat. Now on the front side here, you can see there's a lot of tendons and other silver skin on that. And so I like to just go ahead and do that same thing and just trim all that white off. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get it started. Let's see here. This is when having a good sharp knife can make a big difference. Okay, you just get right up under there. You're gonna take a little bit of meat off, but that's okay. So that's a big long one right there. And then, looks like we got one more right here. Now, you, I'm sure you guys can tell there's like this just gooey membrane on the outside. I try to trim all that stuff off. It's just these little things that you do to prepare the meat that actually help it out quite a bit in the final product. So we'll go ahead and get this one trimmed out here. here at the top. So that's nice and trimmed up and looking really good. And just like that, you got a nice trimmed up piece of goose meat. It's gonna be so much more pleasant to eat that once you get all that tough, kinda just 
gristly, not good eating stuff out of there. And then it also kind of opens up the breast a little bit so then it takes on a marinade better and uh, so on and so forth. So I want to encourage you guys to give this a try whenever you're cooking up your ducks or your geese. I don't generally do it with ducks. You can if you want to be tedious about it, but geese, they're just bigger. They got more tendon kind of material in their breast meat. So I try to do it with my geese whenever possible. So just a quick little video showing you guys that. I hope that helps you out. Drop in the comments what you guys think. Leave me a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video.